So pickleball is obviously, like any sport, highly physical, but like a lot of other sports, it's definitely highly mental as well. So people debate as to the mental side being possibly even more important than the physical. For me, I think it's just important in, in like several capacities. One is kind of just with yourself, finding the state, your mental state that is most helpful for you to perform at your best in a variety of situations, uh, stresses, pressures, anything um, really like just figuring out your best state at any given time is, is huge. Um, and then there's also just other um, stimuli basically, you know, it's your opponents on the other side of the court. Um, it can be the, the conditions you're in, just there's a lot of input for us that can affect our mental state. So I feel as though finding a way to, to have your best mental state at any given time is, is highly important for pickleball. So I think one big thing about being mentally strong is being kind of present and focused at, at any given moment. Uh, there's an incredible amount of things that can uh, derail people in pickleball, whether that's momentum swings in, in points, um, how your opponents are on the court, uh, net cords, uh, the conditions you're playing under. There, there's so many things that can kind of derail that. Um, so kind of you need to be able to find those two things at any given time. Um, and for me, I'd say it definitely becomes a habit, like it's something you're, you're kind of searching for. Uh, but once you are able to do it without too much effort, it becomes a little more automatic. But as to starting uh, out, maybe you don't have that yet, um, to, to get to that, that state of those two things, it's commonly, I think, uh, you need to have kind of a, a trigger, um, so something that tells you, okay, I need to get back to what my preferred state is. So that can be as simple as, uh, tapping the back fence or um, touching something in your arm like, like this, just uh, kind of a trigger to, to get to the state you want to be in. Um, so that, that's important to, to get there. And obviously if you're not in that state, I feel like you're prone to make a lot of errors um, and just misjudgments. So there's, there's a lot of reasons you, you don't want to not be in, the, in that state. I think a lot of people struggle with things mentally because they almost view it as an obstacle to, to overcome and something that they're constantly fighting rather than engaging in something that is, um, I wouldn't say pleasant, but it can certainly be satisfying at a minimum. Um, finding your, your state of calm or whatever you want to call it, almost a, a point of serenity is it's definitely a good feeling. Uh, it's it's kind of like you're, you're in the state you want to be in. It feels good to be in that state. Uh, it, a little bit of surmounting an, uh, achieving a goal in a sense over and over. So I, th I think it's better to, to view it as you want to get to that state because it's going to feel good and it's going to make you play good and that's going to make you feel good rather than it, it being a battle. It's not so much a, a battle and you're not trying to fight with yourself. You're just trying to, uh, to achieve the, the state you want to be in basically. Like I've said, there's definitely a lot of things that can derail people mentally. I'd say one of the most prolific ones is making errors, making mistakes. You hit a shot you thought you were going to make and then you missed it. You didn't do what you wanted to do. And something as simple as that can just completely derail people mentally. So that's another good reason to, to have a, a mental reset. Because if you're thinking about the, the errors you made or a specific error you made while you're trying to perform, it's just usually not going to go very well. So having that mental reset after every point or at least every, every significant error or anything like that of a wipe that from your memory and we're on to the next point, um, you know, having that, that trigger of, okay, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm back in my state. Uh, that's huge. And you know, maybe it's not even errors all the time. There's a number of things that, that can derail you, but like I, I keep repeating, it's, it's so important that whatever it is that derails you, you want to recognize that and make sure that you are resetting in some sense to, to wipe that away. Just like any physical skill, I think that uh, being mentally strong is, is also a skill. So it's something you need to practice. You need to know what you're practicing, how to practice it. Um, you need to be trying to get better at it consciously. And eventually it will become definitely more automatic, more autopilot to where you get good enough at it to where you don't need to think about it anymore. It just happens. Um, and that's the, that's what we want to get to. But of course, along that journey, just like practicing a, a given shot, you're going to need a lot of repetition in order to get to any kind of automatic point. So, so definitely try to, to practice this consciously. And once again, it's not uh, really a battle with yourself. You're just trying to achieve something essentially. 
Um, so certainly don't overlook how important this is. Um, I think people are going to perform their very best um, when they are strong mentally. Uh, it, it's really just that simple. And if you're not strong mentally, you're going to go through periods of, of probably not playing very well and, and nobody wants that. So I'd, I'd argue that practicing this is as important as practicing any shot in pickleball.